Woke Watch. The Halifax Bank, um, where I, I, I don't think I have an account there anymore, but I, I certainly did. It was in the, in the little bull ring in Kidderminster when I was growing up. I had all my first bank accounts at the Halifax. Let me get this story absolutely right. Exodus from the Halifax over Banks' woke badges. What are you cross about today, lads? Badges, James. Pardon? Bad, bad, bad badges. Oh, what's written on the badges? Is it something bad? It's my name, and I can, if I want, put pronouns on it. Well, what do you mean you can if you want? Well, I don't have to. But if I work for the Halifax and I want to put my pronouns on my name badge, under my name, I can if I want to. Now, that's outrageous! How can they contemplate such a disgusting assault upon our British values? Just run me through it again, will you? Well, I've got a name badge already, and the Halifax have introduced a scheme that means if I want to, I can put my pronouns on the name badge. And I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's the worst thing that's ever happened. Who's cross about this exactly? The people who've got the choice of putting their pronouns on the name badges, the people who actually wear the badges, are they the ones who are cross? No, no apparently not. It's other. So who is cross? Well, let's find out. Back to today's Super Soar Away Daily Mail. One of Britain's biggest banks has seen a mass exodus of customers after it told those who disagree with its latest woke policy to go elsewhere. So I think, we can we have a hit on that? Its latest woke policy? Woke watch. And now it gets interesting. Many have told Halifax they are closing their accounts after bank staff were encouraged to display their preferred gender pronouns on name badges. How do they know that? I hope they haven't just been sniffing around on Twitter for angry people and taking them at their word and reporting it as if it were actually gospel news. Let's find out in the very next paragraph. More than 150 social media users say they are boycotting the former building society after after being lectured about inclusivity. Presumably the Daily Mail has contacted every single one of them and established A, that they hold an account with the Halifax and B, that they have actually closed their account with the Halifax because otherwise they're trying to turn a social media nonsense into an actual story about being woke. Woke watch. Some have cut up their credit cards. Why? Let's find out. Because staff are allowed to have their pronouns on that. No, that's not it. It's because they told us we could bank somewhere else if we didn't like it. Well, do you like it? No. And can you bank somewhere else? Yes. And what have they told you again? That we can bank somewhere else if we don't like it. Hang on. Let's run through that again. Do you like it? The fact that some of these staff are, 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 are keen to have their pronouns on their name badges. No, I don't. Oh, um, and what have they told you? That we can bank somewhere else if we don't like it. And and do you like it? No, I don't. And can you bank somewhere else if you don't? Yes, I can. So what have they told you again that you're cross about? That I can bank somewhere else if I don't like it. Right. Well, here's a word I've never said before, but I might have to read Richard Littlejohn's column to understand exactly what it is that we're supposed to be angry about on this issue, but... Uh, Frankly, I wonder whether life's too short. Um, Last night, customer Caroline Fisk, two Fs, a former Conservative councillor, said, it is incredibly rude for Halifax to say to customers, if you don't like it, go away. Is it? What should they have said, Caroline Fisk, with two Fs, a former Conservative councillor? If you don't like it, stay here. If you don't like it, do the Fandango. If you don't like it, have a banana. I don't know. What else should they have said? Incredibly rude. For Halifax to say to customers, if you don't like it, go away. Well, do you like it? No. And can you go away? Yes. And what have they told you to do? To go away if I don't like it. Were you aware that you were able to bank elsewhere before the Halifax reminded you that you can bank elsewhere? Oh, stop it. You're so woke. Woke watch. It's astonishing to have a bank behaving like a trans activist. And again, I would remind you what they've done. They have... uh, told bank staff that if they want to, they can display their preferred gender pronouns on name badges. <laughs> uh, let's find another one from social media. Here's a good one. Here you go. A 50-year-old psychologist from London. Oh, no, it's the same person, I think. Uh, the row began on Tuesday when Halifax posted on Twitter a photo of a uniform badge with the words she, her, hers below the name Gemma and the declaration pronouns matter. 
Um, it said the move was designed to avoid accidental misgendering. By last night, close to 10,000 people had protested on social media. One woman said she, oh, it is a different woman, said she had clo- one woman said she had closed her credit card account. She, she's not named, but apparently she's a 50-year-old psychologist. Again, I'm absolutely certain that the Daily Mail have contacted her, established that she definitely held an account with the Halifax, and established that she's closed it, and asked her why on earth she didn't realise that she was allowed to bank wherever she wanted and was not held hostage by the Halifax. Anyway, do you know what she said? She said, I don't want to be having conversations about gender when I go into my bank. I would have thought that if there was any need for a conversation about gender, it would be caused by the absence of pronouns on a name badge. If the pronouns are there, there's no need to have a conversation because any confusion from which you may suffer has been successfully suffused, diffused and removed by the presence of the pronouns on the name badge. Um, Hang on. I don't want to be having conversations about gender. Uh, frankly, I'd rather they focused on lowering interest rates. Wow! So they had a choice. It was either introduce pronouns on name badges or lower interest rates in direct contradiction to what the Bank of England is currently suggesting. That's an astonishing insight from a 50-year-old psychologist from London who didn't realise that she is not somehow contractually required to bank in the Halifax. So... I want you to tell me what I'm supposed to be cross about because everything here is freedom of choice. You can now, if you want, have your pronouns on your name badge, right? And if that upsets you so much, you can bank somewhere else. And the bank that's put the pronouns on the name badges for people who want pronouns on their name badges have reminded the people who it has upset so much that they can actually bank somewhere else if they want to. I'll tell you when we're going to have a major problem when every bank allows its employees to put their pronouns on their name badges, then you'd have to set up the anti-woke bank. Woke what? And you could clean up with all these former conservative councillors and 50-year-old psychologists from like, you You want to make a mint in this business? Start a bank where staff are categorically not allowed to put their pronouns on their badges. And do you know what else would happen in that bank? All they'd ever bloody talk about is gender. So this poor 50-year-old psychologist from London who doesn't want to go uh, and have a conversation about gender when she goes into their bank, into her bank, and who thought that Halifax apparently had a choice between introducing pronouns and name badges or lowering interest rates, lowering actual interest rates, that was the choice. Uh, when she finally goes to the anti-woke bank PLC, um, all they're ever going to talk about is gender because it's only going to exist in order to ensure that she can walk into a bank where nobody is allowed to display their pronouns on a name badge. Down with kindness and inclusivity, says Julie in Suffolk, with her tongue firmly in her cheek. Um, 12 after 12 is the time. You can have a go, if you please, at telling me what what exactly Daily Mail readers are being encouraged to get cross about today, because they don't seem to know. And the idea that there has been a mass exodus as a consequence of a few Herberts on social media having a bit of a hissy fit seems to me to be surprising. But what do I know? I'm, 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 I'm Mr. Woke Man, according to one Donald Trump supporting Conservative MP. That, that's my new nickname, Mr. Woke Man. 